Hello Grade Fives, we're here today at Sherwood Forest Park to learn a little bit about adaptations, specifically behavioural adaptations. And we're going to do that with the help of my friends over here, the ducks. Now adaptations in living things basically come in two types. There's structural adaptations and there's behavioural adaptations. For the ducks, structural adaptations are things like their wings and feathers, which help them to fly, and also their webbed feet, which we can't really see very well at the moment, but which help them to paddle around. Structural adaptations are changes to the body, and like all adaptations, they're all about survival. All adaptations, if they're successful, increase the animal's chance for survival. So what are behavioural adaptations? Well, we're actually seeing one right now. See, these ducks are hanging around in this particular part of the creek for a very specific reason. You can see here that there's a deck that people have built. And these ducks have learned that if they hang around in this spot for long enough, humans will turn up and some of these humans will feed them. Now food is a very, very important part of survival. It's one of those basic things that all living creatures need. So by hanging around in this particular part of the creek, where humans are likely to turn up and give them food, the animals are increasing their chance to survive. In other words, they've adjusted their behaviour to be in this spot because it increases their chance of being fed, increases their chance for survival. That is a perfect example of a behavioural adaptation. Of course, I'm not going to feed the ducks at the moment because there's a sign just over there which reminds humans that feeding ducks human food can actually be bad for them. So, sorry ducks, you've adapted your behaviour, but no food for you today.